guys, welcome to a new episode of Fish Tales. Here on Fishy Friday, I'm in Muiden at the port and I'm going to make you a really nice barbecued whole place, Asian style and grilled watermelon. So first our hero guys, this is a place has been caught here at the North Sea, has been landed here in the port. And you could uh, recognize place on the beautiful orange spots on the skin. And we're going to make, we're going to use a whole place. Now the fish has been gutted on board. They always do that, uh, which is better uh, for the fish. You can keep it longer. Um, but I take some scissors and I take off the side fins and the top fins. Actually, I made it pen ready. They say, they call it in the Netherlands, pen ready. I take off the tail because it will burn quite quickly. So this is fresh place, guys. But you could use any fish you like um, to prep this way as a whole. I have a pestle and a mortar. Still don't know what the pestle is and what the mortar is. And I'm using like three garlic gloves. And I cut them roughly. And this is the first ingredient I add to my pestle and mortar. Uh, second one is chili. Again, I chop it roughly. Great. Now I have some ginger here. I chop it roughly again. I'm using now a bit of coriander, cilantro. Okay, and there we go. A bit of salt. So I just a bit of oil, some vegetable oil, sunflower oil. You could also use coconut oil. Ah. Whew. Wow, this is Asia. Asia at the Dutch coast in the Dutch port of Aymuiden. I believe we are there. So I take back my fish. So this is the, the middle bone. Um, and I'm going to give it like a few cuts every few centimeters. Why? Because I want to have these flavors get infused into the fish. Other side, same story. So this is the wide side. Sorry, I didn't clean, clean my cutting board doesn't really matter. So now I've scored my fish, it's time to rub it. Rub it with this beautiful marinade. I'll have the little help of a spoon. And what I do, I press with my finger in these scores a bit of the marinade, because you want to have these flavors everywhere. Same story for the other side. Oh, look at the color, I love the color. So this is my fish rack. This is my barbecue fish rack. You can buy it in many uh, as stores, it's, it's so easy. You're more flexible, you can turn it around without it sticks to the, to, to, to the main grill. And, and the result will be the same, as delicious. So I had my remain rub just on top of it. My barbecue is really hot, hot, hot. If you cannot hold your hand above it for longer than a few seconds, it's the right, temp the right temperature. And this is the case right now. So there we go. I start on this side. Oh, it smells so good, it smells so good. While the fish is barbecuing I've got here my watermelon and I'm going to roast it too um, I'm going to take out a few parts so I cut it now from this side this is for our next recipe the same for this and I'm going to cut it into slides check my fish turn it oh beautiful Beautiful, turn it around. So next step, I rub it in with a bit of olive oil. I add some lime juice. Oh, the smell of this place is so good. And again, guys, use any fish. You can use it with or without rack. It's more easy with this rack. Some lime juice on top of it. So this is the base for the watermelon, and now I'm going to grill it. I give my fish another turn. Keep on turning. Because of the size of the barbecue, I quarter them. Um, the reason we, we barbecue these is the taste of the water, watermelon is getting much more intense. And the combination with the olive oil, uh, with the lime juice, is just amazing. If you want to know if your fish is properly cooked, you press your finger, especially with flat fish, you press your finger here, just next to the middle bone. If the meat is becoming flaky and it's coming easily off the bone, your fish is ready. Um, it's almost ready. Turn around the watermelon. Oh, like guys, this is beautiful. I love it. This is what I love. You see, the color is changing. It's getting caramelized. 
So my watermelon is almost ready. Oh, this is so nice. This is really nice. So first I'm going to dress the watermelon. Fourth part is really hot. I need to be careful. Have a bit of extra olive oil here. Lime zest. Top. And I have a few coriander leaves. Nice. I'll give it a bit of rock salt too. So now the fish. The fish is ready. You need to be careful. You don't want that. Oh, this is perfect. This is so good, guys. Now we are going to be careful. Play with it nicely. <laughs> okay. Well, here we have some extra rub over it. This rub is cold because of the heat of the, of the fish. It's getting warm again. Nice. Um, I'll have some lime zest on this one too. So now I add just a few coriander leaves on top. And like in Asia, I just take a piece of fish with my fingers. This is absolutely stunning, guys. This is really, really good. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next Fishy Friday.